What's up everybody, Dorito here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a uh, mod for Beat Saber. So in order to do these mods, you're going to have to have the Oculus version of Beat Saber. And not like the Quest 2 version, I mean like the Oculus PC app version. So in this, I'm going to show you how to download Mod Assistant how to set up the file directory for Mod Assistant, one click, uh, Saber Factory, and two of the safe websites that I personally use when installing mods to Beat Saber. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So both links, well, all four links are gonna be in the description. One for the Mod Assistant, one for the uh, Saber Factory, and then one for each of the websites that I use for mods. So those should take you to Google. So the first one's going to be Mod Assistant because you can't really do the rest of them without Mod Assistant. So here's what you're going to do when you click the link in my description. You're going to come down here to where it says download here. Click that. You're going to scroll down to where it says assets and you're going to click modassistant.exe. Like I said, just click on that and wait for this to finish downloading. Once it's done downloading, you can just minimize screen and you can drag it onto your desktop. And then you can just go over here, you click on it, and it's gonna usually pop up like, oh, this isn't safe, but it's safe, just click safe and run anyway so it says could not detect your beat saber uh, install folder please select it manually so i'm going to show you the direct directory that you're going to take to get to your beat saber plugins so you click ok it's going to take you here we're going to scroll all the way down to the hard drive that you have it installed on keyword the hard drive you have it installed on gonna click on it go to program files you know go scrolling down until you find oculus software software again and then it's gonna be hi uh, hyperbolic magnetism beat saber once you click on that, you'll just sit here and when you press save, that would enable you to use the plugins tab. Since I already have it installed, I'm not going to press save, but that's literally all you gotta do is press save. And then we can, uh, I'm just gonna move that there so that I can get rid of it. But make sure you keep at least the original copy. So then you just, once you have it all set up, it should take you into this screen right here. Let me get that set up. So once you're in the screen, just make sure you verify what game version it is. Down here, it'll say like 1.23 for me, but sometimes you'll have to uh, manually select the version that you have installed on your actual Beat Saber. So what you're going to do is when you're on your screen, come down here, you can uh, technically go through here and uh, click through all of that you want immediately, but I'd rather install or update that way it gets the general mods that you need installed, which is what all of these ones with the check marks are. I will give you guys a heads up. I believe that uh, the use Saber Factory, you need the Syrah you the Syro Util, and I forget the second one, but that one should be like the one that installs immediately. Syro Util, ah, and Beat Saber Markup Language. These two should install, but just double check, make sure they're clicked if you plan on using custom savers. Um, go to options as well, and then you want to enable one click installs once you click that just click beat saber 
What that will do is that will enable it to where all you have to do is press the one click button and it will automatically send the files for custom songs through the file directory. I will show you guys an example of that. So next we're going to talk about Saber Factory. Saber Factory, we do something very similar. So, like I said, link is going to be in the description for this. So what you're going to do is you're going to press the link in the description. It will take you to this website. You scroll down where it says Mod Download. Press Latest Version. And find this one, Saber Factory 2.5.1. What you're going to do is you're going to come down here. You're going to click on Assets. And then you're going to download this zip file right here, Saber Factory 2. 5.1 zip file. Once you download that, it will pop up right here. Just like last time, make your screen small and just drag and drop it onto your desktop to unzip it. And then in order to add this to Beat Saber, you just open up your file explorer, scroll down Windows C, Program Files, Oculus, Software, Software, B Saber Magnetism, and then you're going to find the Plugins tab, and then you're just going to drag, well you're going to, of course, click it, but then you're going to drag and drop it into here, and I already have it installed, so right there so I'm not going to re reinstall it because I feel like that will crash my game I'm not sure about that um, just a side note for this you are going to have to drag it out of the, each file and then drag it back into the new plugins tab every time there is a new update like you see right here two point well, the 1.22.1 1 .1. that's old plugins ever since the update all these mods that I have installed had to be reinstalled into the new plugins tab, which is not that difficult. You just gotta wait for Mod Assistant to update to the new version, as I mentioned over here earlier with the uh, game version right here. When you select that, you have to press install or update every single update, and then you can drag and drop the Saber Factory into the plugins tab again to fix fact that they patched your mods all right so once that's done you could launch the game and make sure you have on the left side of your screen a saber factory tab and the rest of your other mods tabs any other mods that you chose to install like custom platforms any custom notes all that the ones that you're going to be looking for specifically are your custom savers that should be labeled Saber Factory. Once that's done, just close out of Beat Saber in order to add the maps and savers that you want. And I will show you how to do that now. So, one of the uh, websites that I use when I'm adding songs to my Beat Saber is Beat Saber. Link will be in the description. So with one click enable, like I told we, us earlier, all you gotta do is go through and find a song that you want. And you will click right here where it says one click. Let me find a song that might be Decent real quick. I don't want to just add something random So with one click enabled we'll just come here and we'll click the one clip button Press that and it'll ask you to open mod assistant Just click that and then it will start installing immediately and when it says done that means you had an you now have the song installed to Beat Saber. Next time you launch it, it will be under your tab that I will show you later.
Now next is custom sabers. So for custom sabers, platforms, notes, I use model saber. And this is uh this is gonna be a little more kind of like the Saber Factory install. We're gonna have to drag and drop this into the file directory. Let me find some sabers that look nice. This is going to be the hard part, finding something that looks nice. <laughs> we'll just say... We'll just say this one right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to press download. And that should download in the bottom of your screen like the other apps did. So what we're going to do for this, going to minimize, we're going to bring up our files. Let me start from scratch so that we can do this properly. Windows C, program files, Oculus, software, software, Beat Saber, and then you're going to see custom sabers now that we have beat. Uh, Saber Factory installed that and custom platform. But we're going to click on custom saber. <sighs> Sorry about that. I'm going to move that over here. going to click on this. And you're just going to drag and drop into that tab. And then it's there. Next time you launch Beat Saber, it will be there. So now we can just close out of that. And I will show you what the Beat Saber side of everything looks like right now. So I'll see you on Beat Saber. All right, everyone. I'm on Beat Saber. I'm going to make sure the mod is solved. We should see over here where it says Saber Factory. We're going to check out our brand new friend that we installed. Yeah. And there he is. There it is. There's our custom song. And that is how you mod these things. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.